And welcome back. Here we are at Lakeside Stadium in Melbourne. It's day four of the 92nd Australian Athletics Championships and Commonwealth Games Trials. I'm Dave Robbo, this is Silas Moss, and we're joined by the good Dr Brian Rowe here on the Tartan Couch. You're, you're in for another great day of action here. It's the fourth and final day. We're looking to send some people over to Glasgow and... Mossy, I'm excited. Yeah, mate, we've got so much going on today. Run, jump, chuck. Brian Rowe, just to point out, he is the do Deputy Team General Manager of the entire Australian Commonwealth Games team. And uh, welcome to the Tartan Couch, Dr Rowe. Thank you, gentlemen. Pleasure to be here and with Clyde. Now, you're looking resplendent in your kilt there, Dr Rowe. Tell us which t uh, clan is that one representing? Stuart. I'm a half a Stuart. In fact, have that as my middle name. Okay, so, yeah, all set for a great day of running, jumping and chucking. Daylight savings has finished, but it's good to see that there's still plenty of daylight down here in Melbourne. There she 2009 is. world champ. Always happy. There she is, Danny she Samuels, is introduced the to the crowd. Queen of discus. Okay, they're away getting a very good start. There is Wada, the Japanese competitor, uh, in between there, Brennan and Breen. So, as expected, Breen out very well in the first 100, looking good, enters the straight in front. Wada battling it out there with Monica Brennan, the defending champion. But it's all Melissa Breen out in front, looking good, backing up after that 100 metres. Can be tough. Um, and uh, 24 1 6, the 200 metres. Um, just run. Yep, so they're out now, looking. Wern going best of all there from New South Wales there in lane six. Also running well as Laura Turner from New South Wales. So it's Wern out in front. Ella Nelson obviously um, had that fantastic run at the Sydney Track Classic coming home very fast on Sally Pearson that day. Um, we'll wait for the judges' decision. Okay, so that's Whitaker in the green there in lane three getting a good start. And so is Ruby on the outside. Um, so... Ashley Whitaker, the bronze medalist from the 100 metres, obviously has backed up quite well. She'll end up the straight in front. And uh, Ruby in second, Jenkins on the inside going well. But um, the automatic qualifiers are going to be definitely Whitaker and Ruby. So coasting through at the end, both of them looking quite good. 24-28 and that headwinds. What have you got left in you? Um, I mean, I'm feeling pretty good. I don't think... Melbourne, but if you can't make it for some reason, definitely switch on the live stream. Field here, the big Queenslander in lane five, the one to watch. All right, so they're away. So it's Boylan on the inside there with the fluoro tights on his outside. Musgrave is Queensland compatriot running well. And Manga Chuot from Western Australia, which has got a 20.89 personal best uh, to his name. So he was doing that easy. Manga Chuot in very him. Uh, run the furlong before. All right, so they're away now and getting the best of the start is there is Benjamin Haywood, uh, the Queenslander on the inside. Um, the big man from Malta in the green, running well, and Lynch trying to go with him, but uh, uh, fading a little bit is Matt Lynch. So it's uh, Craig Burns on the outside there, the big 400-metre competitor, um, trying to come home there on more, but uh, um, some sort of cultural attachment, and I believe you know Kevin's family. Sorry, he's, he's Danny Samuels. See how far she gets that one out there. Pretty good flight, and it draws a nice applause from the crowd there. Very big throw. That's out over 65 metres. Um, remember, her personal best is 65.84, 80, if I recall correctly. Whoa! 65.15. Uh, the time to look out for. Well, 13.10 is the A qualifier. And I'd say given these conditions, we'd expect Pearson to go under it in the heats. And 13.33 um, is the Commonwealth B qualifier. As these girls are just on their marks, I can see Carl Vanderkite here just watching. It's great to see these legends of the sport.
Right there away as expected. Pearson getting the best of the start. Jenicky trying to go with her. And the next of the best is probably being from Western Australia. Pearson clips that hurdle, but streaking away here. She's over to the final hurdle, sailing across the finishing line. And look at that, 12.92. Easy as you like, 0.5 the tailwind. And it's very rare to see um, Pearson run over 13 seconds now. So, fashion statement before. They look good. Look good on... Uh our little there is definitely seems to be making a comeback in 2014. All right, they're away now, so getting a good start there is Fiona Morrison, the Kiwi, going with Shan McCann early, and uh, Resvinda Gill also travelling really well. But as expected, is Shan McCann out in front over the last hurdle, looking quite good, running out pretty hard there and reflected in the time. 13.32, the unofficial winning time. Guys, we're just going to uh, put our attention to Danny Samuels. This is her final throw in the women's discus. She sets herself here. Can she get over 65 15? Big release there from the reigning national Looks champion. Looks good. Oh, it's massive. It's huge. Samuels, will we see a PB? That's, I'd say, massive personal best. Pat's looking up the stats now. There's people all around the I world. Be his first, look at first throw over 66 metres for sure. People oh, well, I've seen that emotion. 66 81, folks. And that has brought the crowd to their feet here at Lakeside Stadium. Danny Samuels, the darling of the discus. And we're away in terms of the big action of the day. Yeah, That's, that is huge. Yeah, a massive personal best there for a Danny meter, Samuels. Daddy. Yeah, a metre and absolutely world-class throw. Um, not far short of the Australian record either. I'm just... Um, Daniela Costian's mark. We'll see if we can bring out some stats uh, on that, but absolutely huge, huge throw there for Danny Samuels. So Danny Samuels, congratulations. A new PB by a metre. Yeah. What did you do to get that throw out there so far for that last last one? Oh, I think I made it fly properly. We had a really strong crosswind, so in the end I thought just relax and do what you've been doing in training, but above all else, make it fly properly. And it, when it came out with the right edge down, it stopped beauty, and it just lifted and, and carried like I thought it would, so I'm so happy. The moment it was released from your hand, you looked ecstatic and uh, you knew it was big. Yeah, it, like I said, the angle was good. It had the height, and I thought maybe it was only 65 because it was in line with the... Uh, with the cone out there, but yeah, when 66 came up, I was just stoked. Also, um, Samuel's, you know, showing that, you know, she'll be very hard to beat on the world stage this year. As we see Lapierre come down for his final jump, has been known to produce big final jumps at Australian and world, indeed championships on the world stage. There he goes, trying to get the crowd into it. So 8.03 is his current best, the final jump of the competition here. Remember, his personal best is 8.12. Looks to be very good conditions over there in the long jump. Coming down here, his final jump. Looking very st strong there. Is he on the board? Yes, white flag. Looks reasonably happy with that. And pretty happy with the competition. Uh, Going to come onto the track soon, and the officials always let you know when you're allowed to go on there, and they're obviously not allowed on there yet. Uh, we don't have any... Oh, we have a f few of the high jump girls over there, but the, none of the 800 girls are on the track. Competitor from New South Wales running well there. Apologies, we don't have a uh, start list for this race, but very fast. 23.92, the unofficial winning time there. In from Victoria, Georgia Wassell, the young gun from New South Wales, Brittany McGowan, uh, winner of the Brisbane Track Classic uh, this year, and uh, winner of a national title a couple of years ago. Definitely a chance. I McGowan like how McGowan runs, so she's very aggressive. 
This is what McGowan did in Brisbane last week. Went to the front with 200 to go, and let's see if she can stay in front now to the finish. And Kelly Hetherington's going to come back at her, though. And here comes Wassel on the outside as well. So we've got uh, Brittany McGowan leading Ke Kelly Hetherington and Wassel, the youngster. Let's see if she can uh, come from behind again. McGowan into the straight in front. Here comes Kelly Hetherington. Yeah, it's a big finish now. Brittany, Brittany's, oh, Brittany's running away. A great finish here from Brittany McGowan. Hetherington, Faith and Kajan coming through late, but it's all Brittany McGowan out in front. 2.02.16 the unofficial winning time there. Um, good running there. Wassel um, will wait for the judges there, but it looks like Kajan might have picked up the second there on the line and Kether Kelly Hetherington fading late. Brittany was just so strong in that last 50 and uh, geez, this is how she ran in Brisbane, but the competition was better here today.